Are you getting enough quality sleep? This is a question that might make you pause and think for a moment. After all, we spend roughly one third of our lives sleeping. That's over 26 years if you live to be 80. But don't let that number scare you. Studies recommend that adults, 18 plus, should aim for around seven hours of sleep per night, while athletes might need up to 10. But here's the kicker. More than one third of the world's population doesn't get that much sleep. The quality of our sleep is just as crucial as the quantity. There are three main stages of sleep, light sleep, dreaming, and deep sleep. And while all of them are important, deep sleep is where the magic happens. During this stage, our brain waves exhibit distinct patterns, which have been proven to enhance memory and overall health. So, how can you improve your sleeping habits and get more deep sleep? Well, we've compiled the top seven science-backed ways to do just that. And we're gonna start with number one, removing all blue lights. The most common mistake that over 90% of people make before going to bed is scrolling on their phone or doing some computer work right before bed. And for those of you who don't know, the screens of our computers, phones, and televisions emit blue light. So what's the problem with blue light? Well, it restrains the production of melatonin, the hormone that controls our sleep-wake cycle. That's why experts recommend avoiding blue light for at least an hour before bedtime. One effective method to lower your exposure to it is by using blue light blocking glasses. These can be worn for an hour before bed, and this alone will drastically improve your sleep. Another option is to turn on night mode on your phone and computer, which will eliminate all blue light. Personally, I never turn off this function and always keep my screen brightness to the minimum. Not only does it help me sleep better, but it also provides extra protection for my eyesight. All right, now let's move on to the second step, which is creating and following a schedule. When you wake up and go to bed at the same time every day, your body will develop a natural clock, making it easier to fall asleep and wake up refreshed. But nowadays, many people view sleeping only three to four hours as heroic, thinking they can function perfectly with less sleep. You may not experience immediate consequences, but after five to 10 or even 15 years, your health is going to suffer. I myself was in this trap and thought that I could function perfectly with just four hours of sleep and work all day and night. After some time, I started experiencing a lot of health problems which were directly correlated with my sleeping schedule. I thought that I would do a lot of work if I just cut my sleeping, but in reality, I didn't. Your brain and body will function a lot better when you have given them the rest that they need. For instance, consider needing to answer 20 emails. If you're tired, it may take two hours to respond. However, if you're energetic, it could take just one hour. Quality work surpasses quantity, and sufficient rest enables smarter work. Prioritizing rest and maintaining a consistent sleep schedule promotes both productivity and health. All right, now on to the next important step, which is using your bed for sleeping purposes only. Working from home has become increasingly common, and it can be tempting to work from the comfort of your bed. However, doing so can lead to sleep problems and negatively impact your overall productivity. It is essential to establish boundaries between your work and sleep environments to maintain good sleep hygiene and optimize both your sleep and work performance. By reserving your bed for sleeping purposes only, you reinforce the association between your bed and rest, making it easier for your brain to relax and transition into sleep mode. With that said, let's continue with the next key step, which includes important things to avoid before bed. Alcohol, coffee, late night work, overeating, and obsessive thoughts need to be avoided at all costs before going to bed. Of course, it is completely normal to go out with friends on the weekend and have a couple of drinks. My point here is not to make it a daily habit. Studies show that most people have problems clearing their heads from different types of thoughts and overthinking before bed. If you fall into this category, consider incorporating a brief meditation practice into your bedtime routine. Just 10 to 15 minutes of meditation before bed can help calm your mind and prepare you for a restful night's sleep. Some people even use meditation as a tool to help them fall asleep more easily. All right, let's move on to the next tip, which is creating a comfortable sleeping environment. That doesn't necessarily mean you need a Himalayan salt lamp. 
Creating a great sleep environment doesn't have to be about redoing your bedroom. It's about the little things. For starters, make sure you're sleeping in your own bed, not on the couch or in a chair. Also, make sure to adjust the brightness to your lights at home one to two hours before bed. This can be combined with some relaxation music while reading a book or listening to a podcast. You'll actually be pretty surprised how sleepy that'll make you feel. The key is to find what works for you. Whether it's creating art, talking with someone important to you, or doing something that makes you feel calm before bed can help you to sleep better. And if you're sensitive to light, using a sleeping mask or eliminating all lights from your room will also definitely help. The next tip is actually really interesting and I'm sure that it's going to help a lot of people. Why naps are your friend? Even the people who follow a really strict daily schedule once in a while get out of track which affects their sleep. If you find yourself in this situation, taking a 20 minute nap during the day can be a game changer. Some people call them power naps because they leave them feeling more energetic and in a better mood. Research has shown that napping can reduce daytime sleepiness and improve learning and performance. However, it's important to keep your nap to 20 minutes or less to avoid interfering with your nighttime sleep. Setting an alarm can help ensure that you don't oversleep. It's also important to limit yourself to just one nap per day, as taking multiple naps can, again, negatively impact your nighttime sleep. And now, let's move on to our final tip, which is being active and having a good nutrition. Our daily activities and nutrition significantly impact our sleep quality. People who lead a sedentary lifestyle and consume mostly junk food tend to struggle with falling asleep. In contrast, those who exercise regularly and maintain a healthy diet tend to have an easier time falling asleep. To ensure that you're getting enough physical activity, make it a goal to exercise at least every other day and aim for 10,000 steps per day. A lot of people are experiencing tiredness or sleepiness during the day, which can be a productivity killer and interfere with your sleeping schedule. Fortunately, there are simple ways to combat this. You can try doing some exercises, taking a refreshing shower, going for a walk, or even running. Personally, I find doing a quick 5-minute cardio routine every hour when I'm working on my computer really helpful. It consists of 50 jumping jacks, followed by about a minute of mountain climbers, and some static stretching. This simple routine keeps me feeling energetic and focused throughout my workday, and I highly recommend you give it a try. If you have trouble structuring your workout and nutrition program, or just want a team of certified trainers and athletes to guide you towards your full potential, go on and reach out to us on Instagram at Calisthenics Lifestyle or shoot us an email at info at calisthenicsofficial.com to start your physical and mental transformation. Stay strong!